Hi. Uh, while you're preparing for your interview for 2023-24, I am here with you with our latest edition of uh, EMOX for 2023-24 interview. In this EMOC, I would like to request a process that you follow. In fact, uh, there's a lot of advantage that you have here. One big advantage that you have is uh, your mind learns how to speak, not only speak, speak to the point, and also, most interestingly, learn how to contract, or for that matter, expand an idea. Because we're going to give you questions, after that, there'll be a counter. I request you to place your mobile about four to six feet away from you. And then listen to the question and watch for the counter, which starts, which will be any time that you have. During that time, you record your answer. And while your mobile is kept a few feet away, you also emote better. You see how the whole thing is recorded. And this is one exercise. I have found in the past people have been coming back telling me that it's really, really helped them and is more powerful than any mock interview that you would gain. Because mock interview can give a situation simulated, but they don't give you much practice sessions. This e-mock is a major practice session that you can have for yourself and you could see how you are progressing. Initially, it may not be very attractive. But if you stick on and do a few of them, you would be very happy. We'll give you a, a new edition of 2024. However, we are using some of our questions from our archives also, which have got still relevance left to them. Because there's no time frame within which they have been, they have to be asking questions for you in the real interview. So all the best. India has large number of people who are using internet services, smart services, yet the digital literacy is not something that we can be proud of. I would like to hear out your effort in this direction, wherein you can advise me as to how we can improve the digital literacy in our country, especially for the initiatives which Troy has been talking about of digital inclusiveness or in digital inclusivity, so to say. In cricket, we see there is a lot of use of technology in taking decisions. Don't you think that after some time, field empire will be useless? Technology has brought a lot of transparency in society. So many examples that you have got. I would like you to particularly identify three major technological advancements that has brought transparency in the society and corruption more difficult. I would also like you to tell me as to why you have picked up three as exclusive technological advancements as part of your selection.
क्रिमिनलाइजेशन ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स इज इंक्रीजिंग हाउ डज क्रिमिनलाइजेशन ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स इम्पैक्ट द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी इन इंडिया black grown diamonds have been uh, in talks so much these days and i would like to hear out from you that how these lab grown diamonds are different from the diamonds which are mined and what is the potential which india holds as far as lab grown diamonds are concerned in indian farming system the land fragmentation is increasing whereas the number of absolute farmers is decreasing rapidly what will be the implications or projected implications when the absolute number of farmers are decreasing uh, to cultivate the farm lands now you have uh, recorded uh, some of the answers i hope you have answered all of them i would like you to now use these videos watch them and ask your mind that what better answer could have been there you could also ask yourself did i understand the demand of the question could i finish it within the time which i was given in the counter you can also ask that what is a better version of the same answer i can give and that you can again record revise practice i would really like you to make good use of this exercise by not only recording it but replaying it for yourself to be able to understand what more you could have given in that answer